So it's Thursday now and uh, Independence Day is tonight. Um, today though, uh, me and Bernardo are meeting up and we're going to go to Chipotle Park again. We're going to the Museum of Anthropology. Amazing, absolutely amazing. There's so many amazing artifacts and ruins. Uh, they, had a f they had a replica of Montezuma's headdress. The original, the president of Mexico gave to France in the 70s for who knows why. It's kind of a shitty thing that politicians do, I guess. But yeah, it was, it was cool to hear about even those kind of facts. Um, Ronaldo told me about his favorite goddess of Aztec religion, goddess of death, what's her name? Quetzalcoatl is my favorite. Um, it's his Chilo. I don't know. Her name. She's cool. And uh, he was asking me about Australia and how old is Australia. And I was like, well, it's like, you know, it, we've had Aboriginal people here for 60,000 years or more. Um, but if you mean like, you know, like Mexico, like, uh, is, is in like a nation state? Yeah. Like, I, like, I know, it depends how you look at it between 200 and 100 years. It's like, Oh my god, do you even have museums? What do you put in them? Yes, we have museums, we just have stuff from other countries. Um, yeah, it's quite funny. Oh my god, I think my front door is older than your whole country. Yeah, probably, probably. We do have a young country. Anyway, that was funny. Then, uh, here I was meeting up with Rodrigo to at a hotel overlooking the Angel of Independence. I wanted to originally go to the Zucalo and see the, the Yellow of Dolores. Uh, I can't remember it in Spanish. Uh, but essentially, the president gets on outside of the presidential palace and does a little. Grito de Dolores or something. But no, because this president is a terrible, terrible president, apparently. Um, I don't live there, so I'm not making any judgments yet. I want a visa. So I have no issue with anyone. I invited Trump to the country. Trump. Uh, there was going to be protests and things, so we, yeah, uh, Rodrigo booked this hotel overlooking the Angel of Independence. And I have never been so close to fireworks. that we managed to get the view was Rodrigo said that we were uh, he was going to propose to me that night and uh, it was quite funny when we checked out I was like said to the staff behind the reception we got married like um, still drunk probably I was gonna say hungover but we still get drunk we got yeah because after the fireworks we went out with Rodrigo and some of his friends had a massive night it was great fun we went to Tom's Leather Bar, we went to oh, a whole bunch of bars, it's great. Fuck, it's so good going out in Mexico City. The bars are just amazing. Dancing, the drinks and the food, there's no lockout laws. Drink a glass like an, like an adult. Um, and there's food, it's a different culture. You, you walk about, so you don't just get food blasted. Although I get a little. Um, it's Independence Day, I thought it was like Australia Day. I got mixed up. Anyway, so the next day, uh, so it's Friday now, my, my, my first week in Mexico City. Uh, we went out, we checked out of the hotel, and uh, we met up with some of Rodrigo's friends uh, for mimosas and some breakfast, and that was great. Um, great way to start the day. Uh, I need to get some money out from an ATM again. 
I don't have to do it very often. I uh, see myself as a traveller rather than a tourist. So I elected, as I was electing to do, um, to use the Spanish option instead of the English option at the ATM. Like, horror. That's savings. A horror. Okay, got that. What does that word mean? What does that word mean? Okay, I think that means that. Oh! Took a bit too long. Ate my card. Probably should have gone for the English option. So early in, so early on in my Spanish lessons. And that was a lesson anyway. Don't do that. Uh, luckily I had a few more cards, so it was fine. But still, it's the principle. Uh, so that day I spent with, uh, this is Friday, I spent with Rodrigo. And we went to the hotel where they filmed Spectre, the last James Bond film. It was fucking amazing. I'm such a Bond nut. I fucking love James Bond. Everything about it. So goddamn camp. Um, love it. Love it to bits. And to go there where that was was just a dream. Loved it. Beautiful hotel. And we got to go inside and see the rooms and see the inside. It was great. Then we hopped on a, one of the red buses they have in every city. And we... Yeah, got to see more and more of the city, which I hadn't really got to see. Uh, I'd mostly been around um, Zona Rosa and um, uh, the Zocalo, um, so I, I didn't get to see too much of it. That was the most I did see, really, of the outer stretches like um, El Condesa and um, a few other places, Hipodroma, different places. I quite liked. You know, I'm kind of looking back now, like, I could live there. I'm, I have kind of a map in my head of where I can live. So that night, uh, Bernardo met me at my hotel again. We had something a little different um, planned, actually. I was going to meet his parents. Yeah, I know, right? Scary. I don't like doing that ever. It's kind of one of the things I like about gay relationships that a lot of people don't always have the best relationships with their family so I kind of avoid having to do that it's kind of nice but he invited me I'm like all right this is your boyfriend for now and this week you will do this and it's a great way to just get a bit more of the culture that you wouldn't see and so I'm like okay 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 mum was like who is this Australian boy that you want she's not Transylvanian who is this Australian boy that you've been spending the week with I went to meet him Anyway, and I met them, and they were absolutely lovely, such lovely people, and we had an amazing meal, I got to have some authentic Mexican food home cooked, and it was wonderful, I had such a good time, great night, um, tried some mezcal, it was great, I'm just hanging out with Bernardo again, getting to know him more and more, sweet boy, and yeah, into each other, into each other and into each other. I didn't want to leave. I will let you in on how the rest of the week went next time on Down Under and South of the Border. Remember to hit the subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. Um, let's connect, leave a comment below, let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to hear about more from. Um, we've got some great stuff coming up, um, more, more about the holiday obviously. Um, more about what's happening here in Australia, uh, more about everything really. Uh, remember to like Down Under and South of the Border on Facebook, that's where all the social media is getting wrangled. Follow me on Instagram for butt shots and all kinds of other fun things. And love you guys. Have a great, great day, night, week, year, life. Love you. Adios amigos.